Guys, Rafael from Sure Studio here. I have a very special guest guest today. I was actually with him in his podcast, so make sure you check it down below. And it's gonna be um, with a very cool um, dude from the industry, which is actually a uh, straight up competitor of mine. But it was so cool to be on that on that podcast. Make sure you should check it down below. And please, before you watch this video, please subscribe. It's very important for us because this gives this gives us the motivation to keep doing this videos and to keep bringing value to you. We're not asking for anything. Literally, just hit hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you have any questions so with you you got sammy sammy really quick why should people trust what you are about to say yeah so my name is sammy Akhtar. i've been in this industry from 2017 i started as a seller myself then i uh, started my agency and uh, we are handling right now around 60 plus global brands with almost 35 plus team members uh, trying to help sellers to increase the conversion rate and get the most out of the ad budget. So that is the introduction about me. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right, guys. Today we're gonna talk about something really, really cool, which is increase your CTR, CVR, and reduce your A cost. If you don't know what that is, we're gonna run through this. Sammy's gonna explain to us, and most likely I'll be interrupting. Sammy, I'm so sorry, man. I, I interrupt a lot. You can ask my team in the background. We actually have Andrew in the background. We got Peach in the background. Guys, say hi. I'm adding to the stream. I'm adding to the stream. Hey, what's up? Okay, bye. <laughs> um, so I'm not be interrupting you. I apologize for this in the head, but I have tons of questions to ask you. So let's dive in, man. So let me just uh, quickly go around everything. Uh, how to increase your CTR, CVR and reduce your cost because probably this will be the two most important metric whenever you're selling an Amazon. So what is CTR? I'm sure everyone knows it. What is CTR click through rate? You can see it in your advertising dashboard. If 100 people are clicking, are seeing your ad out of it, only four people are clicking on your ad. That will give you a CTR of 4%. Now, CTR, I often call it as a doctor of advertising. It can tell you what is wrong, what is right, and you can tweak around and make changes to make sure it is right. Okay. Now, uh, obviously the higher the CTR, the better the ad performs, and it is uh, not a very uh, important thing to tell. Now let's move on. So search query performance, you can also see your real-time organic uh, click-through rate versus you can compare it with your competitors as well. So in that, you can see probably in the top, uh, top you will see catalog, uh, catalog performance report and then you will see search query performance report. This is a screenshot taken from catalog performance report where it shows you know, each A sign on that catalog and what is the CTR, what is the CVR, what is the uh, add to cut per percentage, all those data. So you can also get the raw data directly from Amazon, not manipulated by any external third party software, direct data from Amazon and check it out what is your listing CTR exactly is. Now, what happens when your CTR is low? Because I think this is probably the most important thing that sellers needs to understand. So what happens when your CTR is low, especially when your listing is new? Probably you have, you have spent a lot in your listing to get this uh, shipment in. Now you're at the launch phase, but your CTR is going very low. What happens here? So obviously uh, your cost per click increases whenever your CTR drops down. And whenever your cost per click increases, your A cost increases as you're spending more to get that clicks. Now you're forcing Amazon to get those clicks and your A cost increases. Campaign history becomes uh, very bad because it, it kind of gives a negative signal to Amazon's algorithm that listen, uh, customers are, are clicking a lot, but it looks like it is not converting. Okay. Or it might be a lot of people, a lot of impressions are there, but people are not clicking your ad. So that signals Amazon in a negative way and your ad started performing badly. Now, how to improve your CTR? Because probably I have told you what is CTR and what is all these things, but the main important thing is how we can improve this stuff. So how to improve CTR? The first thing you need to know is, are you targeting your relevant audience? Are the keywords that you're targeting as relevant for you or not? Now, how we generally do it, we generally take the top 10 competitors of ours we run down that, okay, these are the top 10 competitors, top 10 AA signs. And then we figure out that minimum three of this competitors should rank in the first page with a good search volume of more than 300. And that would justify that that keyword is relevant for us or not. Now, there are a lot of tools that can also give you this data, but that is how we do it. Okay. Look at the relevancy of the keywords that you are targeting that I told you right now, how you can get that. Decide through reports. This probably a lot of sellers don't know how to decide through this report whether your targeting is relevant or not. Let me show you a screenshot. So this is a screenshot taken from search term impression share report. 
Search term impression share report is available for sponsored products, sponsored brands, not available for sponsored display ads. So in that report, you will see a few things. First, you will see search term. So this search term is the search term that is generated from either targeting or it is generated inside the campaign that you are targeting right now. It also tells you the search term impression rank. That means, uh, let's assume there are total 10 advertisers who are advertising for this search term 2053. Now, this is just an uh, example of search term because I don't want to disclose my client's keywords. So here you can see the search term impression rank is 7. That means there are six more competitors on top of him or on top of us for this search term. And you can also see the search term impression share is 2.98. That means if there is total 10 competitors who are running ads for this search terms, that will combine a total search term impression share of 100%. You can also call it as a market share to be uh, uh, get it very easily. The, here you can see you are getting only 2.98% of the impression share. Probably that is very low. If you just scroll a little bit down on the right hand side, you will see uh, the clicks is 44, which is very high clicks. The CTR is 0 0.29, which is probably very low. You will see the sales is zero, the conversion rate is zero, the ACoS is zero. Now for this search term, you are not ranking very hard very at the top. Your impression share is very less. That means you are taking very smaller chunk of the market. You have already got a lot of clicks, probably forcefully. And your conversion rate is not there, your cost is not there, right? Obviously, because you haven't got a sale, the cost it's not showing here. Now, this is probably a search term which is not relevant for you or not relevant right now for you because your listing might not be matured to tackle or take this amount of traffic or might be the search term that you're targeting is not converting right now because the audience is not responding to your product because might be you don't have reviews or people can trust you right now. So this kind of data, if you're looking around, you should optimize it and this would give you what keywords are relevant and which keywords are not relevant for you right now. Relevancy often changes depending on how mature you get, how many reviews you acquire, how conversion rate increases and, and so on. Now moving on, this is called search to impression share report. This is a, probably the most important report that you can get. Now, how to improve CTR. Okay, this is probably a few of the points that I, I needed to share. First thing first, whenever an ad is shown to a customer who is searching a keyword, there will be only few things that the customer notices. First is the main image. Now, when you talk about main image, I mean, Rafael would, would be able to share some tricks, tips and tricks on that later on as well. Definitely, guys. Uh, uh, guys, just in case, if you do want to search about hero images or main images, go check out this video on the bottom. We got a link down the bottom. Or maybe Andrew will link it somewhere here or Peach will link it somewhere here. So make sure you go and click over there, somewhere in there, and you'll be able to watch that video. Yeah, totally. So first is the main image. There are a lot of things there. In the main image, we have seen supplements, brands, where the bottle are taller, they're using a dimension of 1 is to 1.5 or 1 is to 2 to make the listing or the title or the ad look a little bit taller and take a little bit more space. The images becomes a little bit 20% more bigger than the normal products if you're using that kind of dimensions. Here, the next thing is the title. How well optimized your title is. Now, a few things to remember. When you are in mobile, only 79 to 89, 80 characters are shown in mobile. The rest character gets cuts out. And when you are in desktop, probably 100 to 120 characters are shown. The rest are not shown there. So you have to make sure your title is optimized and your main selling points, or if you have done some improvements in your product, should show up in that first characters which are being shown to the customer in the ad. Next is a rating and reviews. Now you'll notice there is a 3.9 that is showing here because with the recent changes with Amazon, now it shows exact count. If it is 3.9, it shows 3.9, not four stars. So you need to optimize there a lot. Then the review count, number of reviews, it influences your CTR a lot. Whether you're running a coupon or not, whether it should be a digital coupon, uh, a deals coupon, whatever it is, if there is a coupon running, it influences a CTR drastically. Next, or probably the most important is a delivery time. I want my products faster. If I have to order it, I'm paying for it, I want my product faster. Uh, that influences your CTR a lot. There are a few more things that influences CTR that is related to your competitors. If your competitor is changing their main image, if your company is changing their prices, in those scenarios, you will probably see there will be a drop in your CTR. So you need to 
put a thorough uh, analysis on and always track your competitors what things they are doing we always put our clients account on market tracker to check all these details and if anything is happening we get the alerts that okay this is happening and we need to check out our product as well yeah it's it's very important i just want to add something it's very important for you guys to uh, and you know as quick as possible because we're, we're 10 minutes in we already have like only 10 minutes left um it's very important for you guys to to make sure that you're always opting your game like in your personal life also in your professional life especially with your business especially with the amazon listing if your competitors is doing something make sure to see what they're doing maybe you don't have to improve your listing just yet but make sure you keep an eye out and make sure you're ready for it so stay ready so you don't have to get ready if that makes sense now, uh, conversion rate. Conversion rate is a data that you can get from advertised product report that is available. Now, this report will give you the uh, conversion rate of your ads. If you want to check your conversion of your listing, I will tell you how you can get it out uh, organically. Organic way. So, uh, conversion rate, this advertised product report is available for sponsored products, sponsored display, not available for sponsored brands. So there you can check out each A sign, how much their ads are converting and what is the conversion rate of that particular A sign in that ad because here we are talking about everything ads. Now, uh, I, I, I'm sure I don't have to go around what is conversion rate because everyone knows it. So you can also track your organic listings conversion rate by going into search query performance report and the catalog performance report and check out the conversion rate on each A signs there as well. And that will be raw data provided by Amazon directly, no third party involved. Now, a few things where you can improve your conversion rate a lot when it comes to product detail page or what we call PDP. First is obviously targeting. So targeting the right audience, showing your customer avatar is really important on this particular topic. Now, uh, here you can see some of the good example of lifestyle images and the customer images, uh, customer avatar is also shown here to show how the customer may feel when they use this product. And this is really important. Maybe Rafael can put some points in this as well. Yeah, it's very important guys to understand that it, it, you're selling to humans. They need to feel. Marketing is about feelings and changes the perception of feeling. Actually changes the perception of a lot of things. So if it's a pillow or it's this um, mulberry hypoallergic cover, I guess, right? And if this doesn't feel safe for them, if it doesn't feel, if it feels like it's going to give them allergies, they're not going to go for it. So if you see in this image, the, the model's like, you know, relaxed and she's smiling. means that it feels good. It's good for her. And this will invoke a feeling of like... I need this. This will solve my problem of allergies. This will solve my problem of, of better sleep, etc. So you want to go those feelings and depending on the product, you should really go hard into images or if it's a low ticket product, like, I don't know, an iPhone case, maybe you can save a little bit on, on images. But if it's something that's related to the human body in general, make sure you're, you, you're not, you know, um, holding on too much into that because you already spent so much money on getting and sourcing this product in time. Do you really want to let your competitors beat you? So I know it's hard because it's budget constraints, the economy, all these stuffs. I get it, believe me, I do. But if you have a baby, which is your product, like, you know, go in for it. Yeah, Profile, I think that was spot on. Okay, now moving on. Uh, previously, Amazon used to provide us a demographic report uh, by going into brand analytics demographics, but last month they have removed it. But there are a lot of ways you can find who is the target audience, which a particular model you need to use whether it is a male female what is the age group that you need to show there yeah uh, we have done a couple of uh, prompts here to chat gpt which is kind of a hot topic going on right now so here you can see i've just uh, prompted i'm planning to launch a product on amazon.com which is called the keyword bwax wrap for cold can you suggest the demographics for this product and here it, it showed me that including both men and uh, men and women ranging from the age group of 18 to 65. so probably this is a wide uh, or a broad audience targeted product probably for your case it will not be this and it would probably tell you the right exact audience that you need to show in images and you can probably go and reach out to rafael or share it studio and they could do a really good shoot for your product and designer images on this now Hey guys, uh, that's um, what we did. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I just want a quick plug right, right, uh, right here. Um, we did a video with our friends Carlos Alvarez from Voices of Ecom. Shout out to Carlos. Um, and we walked. We did a full-on show where we developed a listing from scratch using ChatGPT a lot. So go check it out. It's gonna be tagged right here. Go tag it. I just gotta tag it and go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's keep going. Okay. 
So how to increase the CVR or conversion rate? There is a virtual bundle, which a lot of big brands are not using it. Now, what happens with virtual bundle? Virtual bundle not increases your CVR. Now, when I talk about CVR, now what we have seen with our clients, it doesn't add up to your revenue a lot. Okay. By, because people don't click and buy through this virtual bundle a lot. But what happens here, how the CVR increases is because it pushes your competitors ads further down the fold. And when that happens, they are not seeing your ads, your computer ads, and they are very less distracted. And they are seeing more of your brand. And whenever you get more attention, whenever you show up to your customer more often, the chance, chance of buying the product increases and chances of buying the product from your brand increases. And that is what Virtual Bundle is doing here. So it is probably a chance of increasing the average order value, but we for our clients haven't seen so much good results with the Virtual Bundle increasing the average order value but it increases the conversion rate because simply it showcases much more products of your brand and also it pushes your computer's ads further down the fold which is very important because we want no uh, none of our computers in our listing okay which is probably a myth and we cannot get that but we will do whatever in our hand to make it possible right so that is what we are trying to do in, in a virtual bundle now the main question is which products you need to show in virtual bundle because that is very important here because they you might have hundreds of SKU, hundreds of products but you are confused which product you need to show in the virtual bundle. So there's a report available called purchase product report. Purchase product report is available for uh, sponsored products, available for sponsored display. It is not available for sponsored brands. So in that report it tells you that okay this is a A sign in which you are running ads for but customers are clicking on that on that a sign or going into the product but they're not buying that product instead they're buying or purchasing other product from your catalog it might be other variation it might be other product that is shown your uh, a plus content or brand story so that is what you can get and it also shares uh, shares you exactly how much quantity are being bought so you can figure out which product you need to show by looking at the report that okay this is a product which is bought after clicking on this ad so maybe i should use this product in the virtual bundle and that should increase your average order value if the customer wants to buy the product. Moving on, uh, this is brand story. A lot of sellers are still not using it very properly. Brand story not only gives you option to uh, showcase your brand a little bit more, but also it gives you option to showcase much more or, or more of your products. And all those products that you showcase here are clickable. That means if they click on that product, they can purchase and go to that listing. So again, cross-selling opportunities are a lot more there when you use this brand story. And brand story is a must-have if you want to go to premium A plus content. Next, moving on, this is a comparison chart. Comparison chart, which is a very important module in A plus content. Now, this is a normal A plus content, not talking about premium. And uh, I think Rafael will give some insight on premium A plus content after I finish this one as well. So here you can see all this blue text. These are clickable. Okay and it increases your cross-selling opportunities. If people want to get some other products of yours, they can buy it through here. It increases the average order value, which is must have because now with the ad cost being rising up, you need to get more repeat purchase. You need to increase more average order value from the same click or the same uh, person who is clicking your ad. So you need to spend less in your ads to get the customer, but you need to make sure they buy more product of yours or come back to repeat order. So that is what A plus content gives you. Now premium A plus content, it gives you much more premium looking uh, comparison chart and that increases conversion a lot more. So there's another part to this conversion rate, which is uh, Q&A section. Okay. Probably Q&A section also helps you in, uh, uh, probably a lot of sellers already know it. Q&A section helps you in SEO, not only in Amazon, but also in Google SEO. If you search a question in Google and your listing has it, your listing should show up. A lot of options where you can find good questions to put in your listing is one website called answerthepublic.com. You simply put the keyword vitamin C serum like what we have shown here and it will shoot on all the related questions that are highly searched right now. And you can, you can create a good keyword rich answer for it and put it there and those will also influence your SEO and increases more keywords for which we are getting indexed for. Uh, uh, reviews probably I should skip it because it is very easy uh, right now all the changes have been happening with reviews now the most recent review uh, are being shown in Amazon okay now this is a part where you, all the audience who are watching this video can take some notes okay this is what I call two by two metrics or here you can see the first uh, box here is in green color where 
here you can see on the left hand side we have high ctr on the top we have high conversion rate so what happens if your uh, conversion rate is high your ctr is high your ads will be profitable there is no need that needs to be done no change that needs to be done in your listing in your product listing in your images videos and nothing else you can scale the ads but what happens when your ctr is high but the conversion rate is low that means you are getting traffic into your listing that means your ads are performing but your conversion rate is low you're not getting enough purchases you have to work on the rest images the other images that are shown apart from main image you need to work on that you have to work on product video you have to work on a plus content if you're using it you have to work on premium a plus content if you have got access to it first page reviews that reviews that comes in the first page and q a section these are the few things that you need to work on if your ctr is high but conversion rate is low hey um sammy do you mind do you mind if i, if I, if I budget a little bit um yeah, so sure. i think this is super 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 important chart like guys if you have a high cvr high ctr super cool like it means you're making money you're doing you're taking all the right steps right but just in case make sure you're moderate you know like don't don't let it creep up on you uh, make sure you, you're keeping your tabs on you make make sure that you, you're keeping everything updated um you know just make sure you're there you pay attention to what it is because there's somebody behind you trying to work it to yeah. get to that step um if you have a high ctr and low cbr look how important it is like i didn't discuss this with sammy before it um, but look he, he put already product video a plus content why because you want to incentivate the the buyer to convert and how do you do it it's through images like literally they're not in the they're, they're not in the store they, they can't feel the product so how can you tell them like hey this is almost like a tiffany blue which is beautiful and it has this thing and you can this is it's not leakable right how can you showcase that the only way you can do it is to literally just by showing it oh the lights went out here um, so that's the only way you can show it. Um, make sure that you're optimizing your content as much as you can always, because that's how they're going to connect with your product. All right, let's keep exactly. Going, yep. Yeah. Now moving on to if your CTR is low and your conversion rate is high, that means you're not getting enough traffic in your listing, but your listing is well optimized. Your images are good. Now, when you talk about images, A plus content, listen, there's a part here that we need to do constant optimization. We need to stay above our competitors always. So always look up your computer as Rafael said, and I think he have added a really good point on there as well. So uh, if your CTR is low and conversion rate is high, that means you have to work on the main image. That means you're not getting enough clicks. You have to work on the reviews and rating the five points that I've showed in the first, in the beginning that you need to work on. You need to work on the offer. Whether you're placing your ad in a part or in, in a position where the other competitors are very lesser priced and you are segmenting your product on a premium side, but you are, your, your product is not justifying it, your image is not justifying it, your offer is not justifying it. That again goes back to the relevant targeting that we showed in the first half. So there's a few points that you need to work on. If your CTR is low, your conversion rate is high. Now, the main thing here, if the CTR is low, conversion rate is also low. Probably you're doing anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're so, learning. So, so. You're not doing anything wrong. You're learning. You're in the learning process. Yeah, yeah. I should probably add that point. You're in the learning process. Oh, your product <laughs> selection is wrong. Okay. So that would be a few points. Work on the whole listing. But before that, make sure you recheck, you recheck your product selection whether you have traffic enough or not whether you can compete with the competitors and that is how you move ahead with amazon game yeah i think i am um, i am end with the presentation here yeah could, could i add something in regards to the to the oh no can you bring it back let's bring it back picture can you bring the yeah thank you um so when you have low ctr higher cbr um means click through rate um guys just in case <laughs> sammy already went through it you're, you're yeah. being positioned, but you're not getting any click-through rates. Why? Because you're not standing out for your competition. I know this sounds so cliche, but you do have to stand out from your competition. How can you do it? You also have, um, obviously this is a little chart, so Sammy can't put everything, but we were talking about yesterday something called sponsor ad videos. So when you search for, for something, because remember, these are, unless you're a big brand, these are not your customers. These are Amazon's customers, right? So if somebody looks for a dishwasher safe water bottle, right um this is this water bottle from from helium's 10 cell scale summit so shout out to helium 10 shout out to cassandra um really cool water bottle and so if we have a a, a very low click-through rate you also have other options remember you have um you can drive traffic outside of amazon from 
from outside of Amazon to Amazon, work on your main image. Please use Pigfu. Shout out to Pigfu over there, uh, John and Justin as well. So make sure you're, you're using those tools to, to be able to get more traffic. The more traffic you get, the more eyeballs you're gonna see, the most, um, you know, the most sales you really wanna get it. It's not about the money, but it's about the money. We're here to, we're here to, to make a better life for ourselves. So make sure you're using that, as well as the sponsor ads videos, guys. Make sure you're using sponsor ads videos. We're gonna have a video about sponsor ads videos maybe down below. I don't know where Andrew's gonna uh, point it out, but make sure you're using sponsor ads videos. There's a lot of people not using them and this this little like free market. And while your main image, well, you know, main images are a must, obviously that's your presentation. That's like going on your on your first date without, you know, even brushing your teeth. Like, come on, you gotta brush your teeth. <laughs> um, Sammy, um, you wanna end the, the conversation here? Do you wanna add anything? No, I think uh, it was, uh pretty good uh, all questions uh, if anyone has any question they can leave in the comment section i would be there answering all the comments yes my man sam how can they find you yeah so they can reach out to me in uh, www.regrowmedia.com r-e-g-r-o media.com we provide ad services to brands and they can also find me on my youtube channel they can search on sammy after a-k-t-h-a-r-s-a-m-y and they can find me there as well Sounds really good, guys. Make sure you follow, you follow Sammy. He's doing great stuff. He was kind enough to invite me to, to his podcast, so I really appreciate that. And please, please, please subscribe. This is this, this is literally the world to us. We're trying to grow this YouTube channel. As you know, we're working very, very hard. If not, ask Andrew. Andrew, are we working really hard on this? Absolutely. <laughs> we are. So please make sure you subscribe. It means the world to us. Um, guys, until next time, let me know if you have any questions. Reach out. My email is hello at sharestudio.com. If you have any questions, if you want a free consultation, literally just reach out. I'd be more than happy to jump in a call with you 10, 15 minutes for free and give you my two cents, my humble two cents. All right, guys, until next time. Ciao.